Hello, my fellow mad lads and mad ladasses. My name is Fish Taco Lahama, and that is the correct way to say it. Now, I'm not going to confirm if that is my intro, because I don't know. But what I definitely can confirm is we're going to be playing a game called Kill or Love. Now, the main menu is doing a very good job of making me feel un uneasy. Basically uneasy. I don't know if we're getting into a horror game. <laughs> you know, if we are getting into a horror game, you know, we'll find you know we'll find out. I like to find things out the hard way, but all, all, all I'll say is I went to the Steam page, saw a cute anime girl. I'm like, oh, cute! I'm gonna I'm gonna download this game and play it never. But you know that wasn't the case. Now we're here. <laughs> I plan on finishing the game. It seems like it's like four hours, three hours long. So yeah. But anyway, let's go, go straight into the game. No no more talking. Just into the game. No more talking. This is a work of fiction. Names, characters, businesses... Okay. Okay, I guess I can't read it. Okay. Just... <laughs> it was just too fast. Jack. Handsome Jack. <laughs> oh my, I, I, I don't know how to do a Handsome Jack voice, but I would if I could. There's a voice calling to me. Wake up, Jack. It's a woman's... <laughs> it's a woman's voice. Okay, that's not a woman's voice I've been doing. <laughs> I want to keep. Oh, I want. I want to keep on sleeping, but it doesn't seem like she'll give up soon. I open my eyes. Ah, there's a cute anime wife who I saw on the Steam page. Good advertisement. First thing I see when I get into the game. Well, yeah. Good morning. Did you sleep well? No, I didn't actually. I just woke up. I know. All right, I can get these voices right. I know her. Not just because she is my nurse. I've known her for a long time now. Oh, she's my nurse. That's even better. Her name is Anna. What? Can't talk? Is your throat too dry? Oh, damn. This, my throat is actually dry right now. Hang on a sec. She comes back with some water in a paper cup. Oh, wow. Such a caring woman. I, I, I appreciate having her as a nurse. She helps me sit up, then puts the cup to my mouth and lets me drink. Oh, wow. You know, I'm glad she knows how to keep a man hydrated. You know, that's important. Good. Feeling better now? No, I'm still not. Yeah. Thanks. Great. Are you comfortable here? Can you sleep well? How is your leg? Does it hurt? Oh, you know... Are, are, are you bored? I, I'm... I'm all right. Well, if you say so, tell me if there's anything I can do to help, okay? Yeah, okay. Um, actually... Yeah? Yes, Jack, what is it? What's the date today, do you know? Let me guess, it's gonna be like 10 years later or like 20 years later or something, right? Oh, just that? It's August the 3rd? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I, I, don't, I don't know why that date surprised me. It's just, it's just a... A month and a day. I see, thank you. Anything else? I shrug. Well, okay then. I have to go now. Other patients, you know. But I'll be back in a bit. Don't worry. Anna leans down and pecks me on the lips. Damn. This is like a gr getting a girlfriend speedrun because I literally just got one in like five seconds, I think. Bye-bye. Now, that, that, that's a lie, you know, I'm 21. I still have no girlfriend. But that's, uh, that's a video for another day. Start of the journal, August 3rd. I'm going to kill someone. That's a great way to start your day. Probably. Okay, you know, it's not good for her. her. name is Anna. Oh, you want to kill the hot nurse? Okay. I don't want to do it. I'm not a violent man. But what else can I do? Even if you wanted to, you're in the damn hospital. It would be wrong to let her live, right? But I can't kill her just yet. I'm too weak. Exactly, you're too weak. You're still in the hospital. I tested my grip strength today, and I wrapped a hand around my wrist and squeezed. I couldn't make it hurt at all. Not even a little bit. But it doesn't matter much. Even if it was strong enough to get through with it, I'd still have to wait. I can't do anything until I know Grace is safe. Who the fuck is Grace? Grace. It hurts to think about her. I want to tell her I'm sorry. Damn, did you friend zone her, Bora? Did you friend zone her or something? I'm so sorry I got her involved. 
Please be safe, Grace. Grace, 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 Grace. Look, it calms me down when I write your name. Grace, Grace. Should I be concerned at all? I'm so sorry. Awesome, so I have issues. This nurse seems to have issues because, you know, she was a little too attached. I hope she's a yonder because, you know, I'm into that. August 4th. The journal is still here. Thank God. I was afraid she would find it somehow. When I saw that she didn't, it was such a huge relief. I wanted to write it right away, but no, I didn't. I have to be patient. I'll write only when I'm sure Anna is not around. Anna, are you okay? Now, <laughs> now while she's walking around tending to patients, pretending she's not who she really is. Yeah, it sounds like most people in this world. And it's a good thing I waited. Yo, she, she, got, she got a good thighs. She came... Well, I can't even see her thighs, so I can't judge that. She came into the room only a few minutes after I woke up. She smiled and asked me how my night had been. I held back from telling her how I really felt about being here and about her. I mean, it's not like I can hide everything, not after what happened. Did she kill somebody? Because it's called killer love, right? So, you I mean, there's got to be some murder happening, right? But at least I could pretend I'm not planning to do what I'm going to do. And who knows, maybe she thinks I've gone back to how I was before. I haven't gone back and I'd rather die than be like that again, but it would be nice if she believed that. She let her guard down. Well, it doesn't matter that much, really. Even if she finds that I'm planning on killing her, so what? So what? I'll enter life just the same. If it comes to that. I'll do it. If I need to kill Anna to save Grace, I'll do it in a heartbeat. What is Grace here? You know what, actually? Grace doesn't even need to be saved. Okay, my man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta commit to something. You, you gotta commit to something. Grace is fine somewhere far away without a care in the world. And I'm worrying over nothing. Yeah. If only... Oh, damn, these backgrounds are top quality, damn. Let me save the game. Do I press Q? August 5th. I haven't gained any strength back yet. Am I being impatient? I might be. The doctor thinks that for sure that I'm being impatient. I asked him for some exercises I could do, but he told me to shut up and rest. <laughs> American healthcare, am I right? What are you in such a hurry for, he asked me. I couldn't tell him, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh yeah, she's gonna murder me if I, if I expose her. My next idea was to find a weapon. I haven't seen anything good, though. I mean, you're in a hospital, there's probably a lot of things to use. I'm s I I'll still look out for something I could use, but I haven't got my hopes up. I mean, I could rip out the needle. Needle, yes. Needle, sorry. Ne needle in my arm connected to the IV jib, but I don't think that'd be a good murder weapon. Yeah, you're right, it probably wouldn't. What then? I can't think. I, that, 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 that scared me, sorry. I, I can't think of anything. My, mo my mind is foggy from the drugs and the pain, and goddamn. Why is there. Always so much bullshit. My man, the speaking facts right there. Damn it! <laughs> I just like the lowercase did what? Why is that? Why is it so damn scary? <laughs> okay, all right. You know what? If a heart becomes, I'll just ignore it. Why do I always have to deal with all this? Nothing. I I try is going to. Nothing I try is going... Oh, oh, sorry. Nothing I try is going to... <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> oh, God. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Nothing I try is going... We're going to forget, forget that ever happened. Don't worry. Don't worry that this never happened. Nothing I try is going to work. Oh, God. What? Oh, God. I just choked in my damn spit. August 5 again. I've calmed down. Can't afford to lose my nerve. Not now of all times. No emotion? That comes when I'm safe. When we're safe. Both me and Grace. Where the hell is Grace? I mean, you said she's like somewhere in the world, right? My biggest problem is not being able to walk. Yeah, that's, a, that's an issue. They've set the bones in my legs straight and everything and it's healing in its cast, but it'll be a long time before I'm able to walk. I think. You think? Maybe I'll be able to walk with a crutch soon? 
It could help me get my strength back. Last well, the doctor want to see him. So we got a yandere, uh, yandere situation happening with the nurse because, uh, uh, right? Is she a yandere? I mean, I'm hoping she is, because that would uh, make her more of my waifu. I've just skipped the text. <laughs> I hear someone coming down the hall sl slowly, not in a hurry. They sound like they're wearing hospital silver. Uh, can I? Use okay, there we go. History. Um. Oh, it's early in the morning, and then I hear someone coming down the hall slowly in a hurry. They sound like they're- okay. Most likely it's the doctor and a nurse. Is it a different nurse, hopefully? I hope it's a nurse other than Anna. I pray that it's anyone else. The door opens, the doctor comes in, and steps behind him is a nurse that is not Anna. Oh, thank God. I sigh in, a, in relief. In a lot of pain, huh? No, no, it's, it's not that, doctor. But, well... It can wait. Unless it's urgent. It's it's not. Very well then. Why can't I see his face? Do, do, do I have a problem with that too? The doctor can't be over 35 years old. He's wearing a golden wash and fine looking leather shoes. Uh, don't tell the vegans. He doesn't look like a doctor to me at all. More like a businessman. The doctor goes from bed to bed with the nurse. Checking on the... I, that, that, that sounded dirty in my mind, I'm sorry. <laughs> Checking on the patient, spending no more than a minute with each other. He comes to my bed last. Damn. I see how it is, doctor. Okay. Goddamn American healthcare system. <laughs> okay, Mr. Friday. J my name is Jack Friday. What a name. What was it again? Let's see here. He leaves through some papers and clicks his tongue. Ah, you fell. In quotations. Yeah? How did you manage to do that? Oh! The substances were found in your blood work Expla explain that mystery. Not very clever, are you? Getting high and... Oh, I did drugs! Doctor, you can't... Doctor, you can't say that! Oh, sue me. You... and... And you don't do it again. Next time I won't patch you up, you hear? I'll try not to. He's being rude, but it doesn't really bother me. I've got more important things on my mind. <laughs> America! Doctor, how long until I can start walking, at least with crutches? I don't know. What? What? Y you're a doctor, aren't you? My my doctor? The very... the very same. Who do you think operated on you? Oh, who do you think operated on you? Ah, surgeon. He's a surgeon, too. Okay. I, I look down at my leg. I'm suddenly very unsure what I I'll see when the cast comes off. Can't you at least guess when I'll be able to walk? I'd rather not. The nurse sitting next to the doctor looks uncomfortable. She's holding a hand to her forehead and sighing. But w why not? Don't I deserve to know? Well, a lot of factors are at play here, you see. The doctor starts moving his right hand in complex patterns. Doing some new ninjutsu? Plenty of factors Plenty of factors can change how quickly you heal. A lot. Uh, a whole lot. So who can really say, Did he cut off my fucking leg or something? Factors? Like what? Oh, so many of them. No, let, let me- I have- I actually- I have a theory. That yandere nurse cut off my leg and he's just too afraid- He's a- he, he's even afraid of the nurse, I bet. I, I, you know what? I figured out the plot. There we go. He's afraid- everybody's afraid of her. Like what? Like a- like a- He glances down at his papers. Like your blood pressure, which is crap, by the way. Oh, yes, my blood- my blood pressure! Yeah, that's- that's the biggest concern besides my leg. Oh, my lord. Are, are you stressing over something? Yes. No? No? Oh, man, Jack the man of bullshitting. No, doctor, I'm not. I'm fine. No, you're not fine, Jack. He, he frowns a little. Well, you'll be fine. Kick your feet back and relax. What? You're in such a hurry for anyway. You haven't got a job waiting for you outside or anything. Huh? How do you know that? Oh, well, nurse, uh... Did she, uh, did she kill my, uh, my boss or something? Let me get... Or something? The, the Anna nurse? He snaps his fingers, trying to remember. Anna? Nurse Anna, that's the one. She told she told me. And yes, I know you to No need to act surprised. Oh, you know- he knows about us too, okay. You're a lucky guy, you know that? No, I'm not. Yeah. When I first found out I was against letting her care for you, being objective and all that stuff, you know. But she really wanted to, so I thought whatever. 
Ah, yes, so she is a yandere. <laughs> oh my god, I think I found my waifu! <laughs> and she's taken it well, so it's okay, I guess. The doctor stares off into space and looks at me and grins. Oh, I see. It's her. What? She's the reason you want to get the hell out of here, huh? I don't blame you, there's no privacy here at all. I'm not here to fuck her. No, no, I didn't. Don't be ashamed now, I, I get what it's, what it's like. He drops a smile. But you can't be thinking of all those sort of things, you got to rest properly. Yeah, but you fuck the nurses all the time, so... Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> he leaves with a thumbs up. Two of the other patients are laughing and whistling, and another one is grumbling with what must be jealousy. Idiots! My journal is pressed up against me in a new hiding spot. I've moved it three times now. Oh yeah, he's writing in a journal. If Anna finds that shit, I mean, she's going to find that shit. She's a yandere. You know, they find these sh these things out. I've got to write in it. My thoughts are burning a hole in my skull. I've got to share them with someone, even if it's that someone is a piece of paper. Okay, you know that's fair. You need some uh, psychological support, but not now. She's still out there somewhere. All right, can I save now? Uh, do, maybe I just sort of click it. Yeah. Wait, does... Oh. Okay, oh, that's like a quick save. Okay. So it's sa Okay. Interesting. I, I actually dig that. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, what was this? Or something? No, it didn't. Okay. August 6th. Damn it. God damn it all. I'm stuck here with nothing to do but lie uselessly and wait. 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 And wait and wait. I think he's waiting. All I can do is wait. Nothing to do but WAIT! 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 And for how long? Oh yes, back with the god tier backgrounds. Whoever made them, good job. It's two hours after I've written down those words. It's like that one Spongebob episode where he takes like five hours to write one word. I'm looking at the little notebook that is my journal. Got it in my hands. I'm, amazi I'm amazingly lucky to have it. Someone had left both the notebook and pen in the nightstand next to my bed. I checked the nightstand's drawers on a whim, and there they were. Now they're the only things keeping me sane. There's no TV or books or even magazines in here. No, There's no games? Oh, damn, fuck this hospital. I'm counting the pages. I got left in the notebook, checking how much ink there is in my pen. Yeah, this game, this game is sound effects definitely are uh, making me feel very uneasy, and you know, it's doing a very good job. Very good job of it. Then she comes in, and I feel my heart stop. Good morning, good evening, boys. She greets everybody, everyone, but she's only looking at me. Boys. No girls. Just boys. Okay. I murmur back a hello. Meanwhile, my hands are still holding the notebook. Clutching it, actually. I can feel bit... Beads of sweat forming on my forehead. The notebook is small, very small. My hands must be hiding it from view, or are they? She, if she, if she's noticed, Anna pays it no mind. She wills in the cart with her medication. Well, that's what we call a psycholo uh, reverse psychology. She, pre she probably she probably noticed this like uh, like five months ago, but she she wants she just wants to catch us in the act or something. I don't know. While she's busy with the other patients, I slip the notebook and pen under, under my blanket, smooth, smooth it over, and lie quietly. Oh uh, yes, she even she even got the the red eyes. You know you know she's a yandere then. Oh shit, I didn't read that shit. All right. How are you holding up, sweetie? All right. I nearly jump at Hannah's whispered words. I didn't notice her approach. Fine, I'm fine, fine, I'm fine. Thanks. Hmm. Jack, don't you remember what I told you? It's no good putting on a brave face. I'm here for you, okay? What? What's this about? Does she know? Yeah, probably. I know- I know about everything you see. Oh, great. She leans in closer. I nearly faint. Everything. Is it from all the perfume she wears? <laughs> y yeah. Yes. I had a little chat with your doctor, you know? And he told me all about how much trouble you're having. Well, I didn't. I didn't sign up to play this kind of game. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm. I'm. I. You know. I. I might be into yandere's, but I'm not. I'm not into this right now. I'm not into this right now. 
I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in the mood for this right now. As soon as I realize what she means, my tense body loosens up. Oh uh, yeah, that. It's a bit of a problem, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I'm uncomfortable. Fuck. Oh, sweetie. Well, I. Well, I'm sorry. Your health has. Pri oh wow, she's direct. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Your health has priority over sex. But you don't. But don't you worry. I'm not going anywhere. She puts her hand on my blanket. I'm, I, 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 didn't, I didn't sign up for this game. I thought it was just going to be like a wholesome horror game. I, you know, I didn't, I, 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 if this is not safe for work, I'm going to have a bit of a problem, aren't I? Fuck, okay. <laughs> she puts her hand on my blanket and starts smoothing it out absentmindedly. Do I have to read this? It makes me happy, though, to see you like this again. After how you acted before your is... Fuck! Before your accident, I thought... Never mind. Without warning, she leans in even closer. I feel her hot breath and much... Dude, I, I, I didn't... So I told you again, I did not sign up for them. Maybe, maybe I should have read just a bit. Just a bit. But since you're so eager, Jack, I promise that after you're released, I'll give you the... Time of your life. Yeah, I'm gonna pay child support, aren't I? I'll make you finally forget all about... About Grace. Her words are like a slap in the face. I can only stare back. Let me guess. I was like a fool for like, or like screaming about Grace. I probably, yeah, I probably that was the first mistake I made. Not talking about Grace. So you still care about her? I don't like that. Oh yeah. Someone like you and someone like her, you never should have been together in the first place. Mm. Please think only of me. After all, we were made for each other. If I do, if I promise I'll be with you. Always. We leave Grace, Grace out of this. No, that's no good. I can't do that. Just, you're asking that it shows you still thinking about her. She hasn't got anything to do with this. With what you did to me and what... And what I'll do to you. <laughs> yes, so she's gonna cry, I'm gonna kill him, I know, yeah! So leave her out of it. Are you holding her somewhere? At least that girl's good for one thing. Thanks to her, you've been a good boy. Even though you Please don't call me a boy. Though you're still so confused. Anna, please. I'm close to crying. Wait, wait. Thanks to her, you've been a good boy, even though you're still so confused. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah I mean, he, he's in love with that girl, so you know, that, makes, that makes sense why he cry. I'm close to crying. I want to tear tear my hair out. Anna smiles again. Fine, sweetie. I promise I won't hurt her. As long as you do one thing for me. Do you know what this is? I do? Of course I do. It's something she's been telling me to, to do for ages since before I got here. It's like a broken record. You want me to remember everything. Yep. Oh, I can't wait. When you do that, everything will be perfect. We'll be, we'll be together forever. So promise you'll remember? I promise I'll try. No, that's not good enough. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I like, uh, yeah. You promised you'd try before, and look where that got us. You bet. You cut off my fucking leg, didn't you, bitch? Tell me you'll do it. I, 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 I promise. I'll recall it all. Good. We'll work on that when you get out of your butt. If your memory comes back to you before then, uh, tell me before you tell anyone else, okay? Bye-bye for now. She wheels out the card, glancing back one last time with that eerie look of hers. I can tell her I already remember. I've known since before my injury. You know, isn't it illegal for, like, a, a, like a nurse to have relationships with, like, a patient or something? Like, can't doctors and stuff not... Like, is, that's not, isn't that, like, not allowed? Like, shouldn't she be fired? For that? Since the doctor no You know what, it's a game. It's, it's a game. I, I wouldn't know. It's a game. I've known that when we were both children. She... No, I can't tell her. If I do that, she wins and Grace dies. Maybe I die too. I can't win by playing along with Anna's delusions. Ah, uh, yes. Anna's delusions? That's one way... That's basically the whole uh, gist of a yonder. Just constant delusions. What Jack's lost. Oh, we're in chapter 2 already? Okay, that was quicker than I thought.
August 7th. I can't just sit here waiting. I've got to wait and I will, but I feel like I can't wait either. I'm doing nothing that's eating me up. If a stomach is empty long enough, it starts eating itself. Do you know that? I know that. If I don't do something right now, I'm afraid I might go crazy. Buddy, I think you've been crazy for a longer time. Like, a lo long time here. I'm going to write down everything that happened. Maybe that'll help, help me make sense of things. Right now, my thoughts are buzzing together in my mind like flies around a turd. I want my mind to be clear. Wh why is it the first thing you think of, like, flies around a turd? Maybe, like, bees around, like, flowers would probably be a more better image. Well, I mean, his life is kind of shit right now, so it makes sense. To do what I'm going to do, and to do it properly, my mind needs to be clear. Unclouded. There's no... Th no thoughts. Head empty. This notebook is small, but I think I've got enough space to write everything down. It's not... it's not a long story. So here it goes. Everything. <clears throat> oh, yes, back with excellent backgrounds. I met Anna... I met Anna, met her again after so many years in the store where I worked. Grace wasn't there at the time. It wasn't a coincidence that Anna visited the, the store when she did. It couldn't have been. She must have been following me. Oh yes, that, I mean that is how it's talking. Oh wow. I like her outfit though. The first time she came in I was at the cash register. I mean, I worked at retail before. I never had a girl stalk me. This game is a lie. This this is bullshit. I, I was I, I worked I worked retail. I was stalking, you know, stuff. I was at the register. I never had like a, a girl like stalk me or chase me. I, I'm you know this, this game this game gives false hope. She walked straight up to me, cutting in line, and an old woman was busy counting her change and didn't complain. Nobody else complained either. Anna stood there a while, staring at me. Then she said, "No." No, I can't do this. I, I can't start here. I can't do it. There's already too much of that woman in my life. Oh man, this this man this man is already experiencing marriage. <laughs> I I'm not married, so I wouldn't know. But I have parents, and uh. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm back. Oh, I was, I was getting some br water. Throat was hurting. All right, I gotta start with someone else. Someone I miss. Grace. Ugh, oh, this is gonna be one grace of a moment. Grace was the girl who worked at the same store I worked at. She was and is still as a kind, sweet girl. Oh, that's Grace? Okay. Uh, she's a little quiet, but that's perfectly fine. Ah, uh, yes. I hated her. I hated most people. That's relatable. I, and most things. That's relatable. I was a real asshole. That's relatable. I didn't spend time with other people. Whenever a coworker invited me somewhere, I turned them down. All oh, right, this man's an introvert, isn't he? I didn't check. Well, not an introvert. Just no, 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 no. Let me not get into that discussion. He's just, he's just antisocial. There we go. I didn't chat with anyone during breaks either. It was just how I was, how it always been. I avoided Grace too, of course. And then you fell in love. She tried to w talk to me a few times, but then I started avoiding her even more. I only took shifts I thought she wouldn't take. Damn. The, t the times we still ended up working together, to get <laughs> working together, I stayed as far away from her as I could. It worked for a while, and then came the day we talked, really talked, for the first time. Sorry if I'm re uh, if I'm reading really fast. I apologize. <laughs> it's a lot of text, but I don't know. I probably should have expected that because this is a visual novel. <clears throat> she is pretty though. I was restocking the shelves along an old, greasy, long-haired man when Grace came along. I didn't even look at her. Instead, I became very interested in stacking cans of food onto the lower shelves. I waited for her to leave. Alright, so I, um... I'm... De uh, nah, she's, she's not like a valley girl, is she? Like a pretentious valley... Yeah, I'll do it. I mean, she's blonde. I'm, no offense to blonde people, but I, I'm gonna do it. I'm... I'm done. Can you switch with me, alright? You can't go help Sussy. I already did the bottom shelves there. Oh, Sus! <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh God, Among Us has got him into my mind. I'm in Susie. <laughs> Fuck! All right, you can't. You can't help Susie. I already did the bottom shelves there. Don, the old man thanked her and left. And Grace started working next to me. A minute went by. I found that I couldn't work in peace. Just her being there made me upset. This guy definitely isn't a simp. I can respect that. 
I have to say something. I'm fine on my own. Hmm? If you want to take a break or something, you can. I'm I'm fine on my own. <laughs> oh no, I, I don't mind doing this. I see. Can't you take a hint? I thought then. Oh man, man, the, 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 the woman is in love with you. Or rather has a crush on you. It's, um, it's, it's his back, you know? What? Don't... Don't's back... Don's back... Oh, Don, sorry. Don's back hurts a lot, so I asked him to switch. Oh, I see. He has trouble with lower shelves, so... I... I get it. I didn't d do it to bother you, I swear. I said I get it. Damn, this guy is an asshole. Okay. We went on restocking in silence. For about another minute. Um... I know you don't like me very much, so I thought you might think I was bothering you on purpose. You know, I mean, this woman is sweet. I, I I can see why he likes her. So so I'm sorry. I said I. Who who says I don't like you? Huh? Don't you? You're always avoiding me. Yeah, don't take that personally. That's just how I am. I don't care about other people. Fucking dumbass. If I could go back in time and punch myself in the mouth, I would. Oh man, that is, that is that sums up middle school and high school life, doesn't it? So you like me? What? No, I didn't say that. Get a clue. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, you know, this reminds me of like the time when I was in middle school, and you know, at the time I wasn't aware that, that like there was um like these girls who liked me, like I thought they were just teasing me, and then when I went to hi like when I went to high school and when I like graduate high school I didn't realize how much of a fucking dumbass I was <laughs> and I, I, I don't I don't I don't know I think men are just oblivious to these things we didn't talk for the rest of the day so I thought that was that she'll leave me alone I thought now that she knows I prefer it that way but she didn't I always think my lucky stars that she didn't leave me alone after that maybe she should have I though for her own sake I, sh I hope she can forgive me Writing about the past has been a good idea. Right now, it doesn't even bother me where I am, who I'm with. And thinking of Grace, remember the way she smiled is giving me courage. I mean, you know, I'm into yonderers, but you know, you know, great, great Grace. You know, I, I, you know, I, 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 I you know, she's she's a lovely person, honestly. She got hurt because of me, so I will do anything to make her happy and safe. Good for you, buddy. The weather was nice out there. I'll the fuck today. The sky was blue. At least you can look out windows. <laughs> you know, I, I, f I, felt, I felt like there weren't going to be any windows to make it more horror-like. There's a tiny window on the wall to my left. <clears throat> I can look through it if I twist my head around. Well, close enough. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> uh, okay. The, that small patch of sky is the only beautiful thing around here. Well, aren't you beautiful, Jack? That and my memories of her. <clears throat> Alright, let me save. Oh god, that was a jump scare. <laughs> Alright. Hi, ja Hi, Jack! Hi! A beautiful morning, isn't it? Let's give it our all today. <laughs> yep, let's do that. Um, your uniform is kind of all wrinkly, isn't it? Don't tell me to iron it. Oh? Yeah, it is. I haven't got an iron, so... Jeez, you're so really hopeless, aren't you? I wouldn't go that far. Actually, you are hopeless, buddy. I could iron her closer for you if you said pretty please. This man's a bottom. <laughs> August 8th. After that one time, Grace started coming up to me more and more and talking to me more and more. And it, it, it was a gradual thing, just hello and goodbye and how are you doing at first. Eventually, they grew up, grew to full conversations. Well, they say full conversations. They were still pretty bare bones. I noticed how friendly she was being, of course, but I didn't push her away. I couldn't tell why I didn't do that. I surprised myself every day by not telling her to screw off. <laughs> My buddy, I think that's what we call falling in love slowly. I think. I wouldn't know. Hey, Jack? There's this bar just down the road. I hear it's a good place to go. Well, I'm glad to know they're both 21, at least. <clears throat> if this is America, is this even America? I don't know. So how how about we go there after work today to relax? <laughs> oh yes, to relax. Oh yeah. And when she asked me out for drinks, I surprised myself further by saying sure. Yeah, 
up, buddy. I'm proud. I'm proud of you, Jack. I'm proud of you. You're making progress in life. How do you like it here? Is it nice? It's all right, I guess. I don't really. I, I don't really know, honestly. I don't go to places like this. Oh well, I don't either. Not a lot. But I thought it would be fun, you know. Grace ordered a Jack and Coke. I know I just turned 21, but I'm. Wait, Jack Daniels? Okay, okay. I think it's a Jack Daniels, right? I, I you know what? I'm. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know what to get, so I asked for one too. <laughs> Our drinks ca drinks came quickly. <clears throat> they were cool and pleasantly sweet, but I couldn't enjoy mine. I was in a bad mood. <laughs> oh fuck! Well, give me a sec. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, I was in a bad mood. <sighs> The waitress had giggled while taking my order and took it as an insult or it was something else just as dumb. Yeah, this guy's a dumbass. He, he doesn't get anything. Ugh. Fuck. Sorry. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Alright, sorry. Ugh. Yeah. Well, Jack is not... I wouldn't call him a dumbass. I just call him more of just like, uh... Just unaware. You know, I mean, most, most guys kind of are unaware. Let's be real. No offense to my fellow men out there. I can't remember exactly. Ah. Feels good to relax after a long day at work, doesn't it? I grumbled. What? What is it, Jack? Nothing. Oh, he's, he's a lightweight, isn't he? I sip my drink. Um, something's bothering you, isn't it? I said it's nothing. I'm just not cut out for this stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't, you don't have to drink if you don't want to. I don't mean that. I mean all this. I just said at everything around us. Doing things with people. How? Huh, why? You wouldn't get it even if I explained. We're just too different. I had it rough in life. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself now. I, 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 I will. It would be a shame not to do fun things just because of that. No, what I'm saying is, is just not fun for me. I don't like this. How can you say that? We're, we've barely been here for ten minutes. I just know. Oh, he's a stubborn. He's stubborn. He's stubborn, isn't he? Well, I mean, it's not, isn't he? He definitely is stubborn. She didn't, she didn't see happy I said that. So you want to leave? Uh, I actually thought of leaving. I, I just complained to complain. Well, you can't leave. Not yet. Oh, yeah? Yes! If you keep going like this, you're never gonna have f any fun in life. So promise me you'll at least give give being with me a chance. You want me to stay here longer? Yes. For at least another hour. A whole hour? Please? Fine, I could do an hour. <laughs> Sorry, uh... Thank you. You won't regret it. Yeah, sure. It seemed like so, what, what is this? I wonder what, what what happened that he's such an asshole. I mean, he probably has like valid reason. It seemed like such a long time. There was a clock on the wall opposite to me. I was gonna scare. St bleh! I was gonna stare at it for a whole hour, counting down the minutes. Then, when the hours passed, I would get up and leave. Simple as that. But then something happened. So, it's oh, okay, another jump scare. Grace was having trouble. I had never see seen her so awkward. She was stammering, struggling to find stuff to talk about. I realized it was because I was just sitting there barely saying anything. Yeah, that's kind of that, uh, yeah, 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 that's what happens. I was acting all grumpy too, that, that couldn't have helped. Back in the store with so many distractions around us, it had been easy for her to chat with me every so often, a few words here and there. I didn't have to do much back then, besides nod. Sitting down, talking f to face to face, simply couldn't work like that. Oh, damn. I actually kind of... I feel bad for her, because she's trying, you know. She wants to be with this guy, and this guy's just an asshole. After more than a few failed attempts to get the ball rolling, Grace gave up. She sat there looking at her drink instead of me. Instead of at me. She was like... She was most likely working up the courage to end this early. In just a few minutes, I'd be free to leave. I found I couldn't sta stand that. So I started talking. I said the first thing that came to my mind, no matter how stupid. Ah, my, 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 my man is getting out of his shell. My, my, my man is getting out of his shell. 
I don't know why I'd, I did it. It feels so unlike me, both feeling bad for someone and talking with no filter. Or unlike the past me. Maybe I was finally warming up to Grace, or maybe it was the alcohol. You know what? You know, that, you know if you ever, you know, my, I, I feel like a, well, actually, you know what? Not even going to give dating advice. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know that shit. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was both. The reason doesn't matter. What matters is that it happened. Back then, there was a part of me that never relaxed no matter what. You know, Grace, Grace is just head on, like, the bottom right is, like, both cute, terrifying, and creepy. I don't know how to explain it to you. It, it, it's just like she's staring into my damn soul, man. Just her head. Like, I feel, I feel like it's gonna change, like, the face be- uh, I'm not gonna look at that. No, it wasn't even part of me. Pretty much all of me was like that. Like a fist I wouldn't unclench. I'm gonna cover her face with my hand. You can't see that, but I'm, I'm too again. It's just creeping me out. But now I found I could relax. Yeah. Little by little by little. And before I knew- Fuck, that scared me. Uh, and before I knew it, I really was having fun in this girl's presence. Talking to her, laughing with her, simply spending time with her. What did we talk about? I don't remember. Okay, she's- okay, I took the hand off, she's smiling. Um, what I do remember is that I had more fun than I had in years. When the hours passed, I didn't say anything. We stayed there for hours longer. My 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 man- my man is learn learning how to date. I'm proud of you, brother. I do remember one thing we talked about, actually. We somehow got on the topic of family. <laughs> now I'm gonna, we're gonna find out what happened, man. What is your family like, Jack? Uh, I can't say. Oh, I see. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I'm sorry I asked. Sorry for all the sniffles. I'm kind of not, not on speaking terms with my family, either. Oh, man, you do have something to relate to. Why is that? That's, um... Actually, I don't really talk with other people all that much or hang out with them. Oh my lordy, you two have something to relate to! Well, outside of work... I'm kind of alone all the time. Oh my god, you guys have something to relate to! What, really? Yeah... <laughs> that surprised me. I was surprised a lot back then. I never thought Grace was anything like me. But you're... But you're so friendly with the people at the store. That all it is. That's all it is. It's not that I wouldn't like to spend more time with them, but... I don't know, it feels like I if I let them in, they're gonna turn out not nice. Oh my... God! You guys! I have something to relate to! My you're damn! But you're di- But you're different. You're just trying to get by, I don't think you'd use someone. God, when I say it like that, it doesn't sound right at all. You must think I'm really weird. I'm... Yeah, I'm quirky. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I, I don't think you are. Oh man, the drinks are hidden in. The drinks are hidden in! It makes sense what you said. Really? Thank you. Thank you, Jack. I really, really hoped you'd understand, and I'm so happy that you do. I really feel like you're someone I c can trust. Oh man, that, that 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 ladies and gentlemen is why the bar cause it's a good dating location cause the drinks just kick in, man. The guys just kick in, dude. We went for drinks again next week and then once more for weeks uh the week after. We went for drinks again next week. Oh wait, sorry. The week after that we had dinner together at a greasy little restaurant where we could afford to eat. I tried to impress her by ordering wine. I never had wine. It was disgusting, but I had guessed it would be disgusting, so I forced my way through a glass anyway. I actually had uh, um I went to I went to Olive Garden. I know most top tier Italian restaurant, and I I had wine like for the second time. I, I if you watch like the you know I just turned twenty one video, I said like I had wine when I was nineteen, and well um I went to Olive Garden and that wine was not sweet. It was like strong as hell. I, I like I like the white wine, but the, it was the wine I got. It was just strong as hell. Like it, it I, I don't know how to describe. It wasn't sweet at all, and I, I was like trying to enjoy it with the food, but I just didn't don't, couldn't feel it. Maybe maybe the wine was I don't know I don't know. Just, just going on a tangent here. Sorry. I even said it was delicious. Then Grace tried some. Told me it was spoiled. <laughs> 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 well, I, I don't think the wine I had was spoiled, but still. <laughs> she teased the hell out of me for that. 
I was it, it, I wasn't bitter about it. I laughed along. My, you know, I'm happy for this guy, dude. I'm happy for this guy. I'm happy. For, I'm happy for Grace's guy, man. You know, this this is fantastic. I, I'm not. I I, compl I almost forgot that this guy's in the hospital with a yandere woman. Strange how quickly people can change sometimes. Oh man. See, the, this shows that memories do a good job of making you forget just for a little bit, I guess. <laughs> because I, I, I literally forgot the whole fucking, like, what was happening. Soon we started going out more often to bars, cheap restaurants, places like that. Cheap restaurants, yes, because welcome to retail, minimum wage. We take a lot of walks together, too, and one time we even went to the movies. After about a month of this, I asked Grace if she'd be my... A month! Damn, that's a long time to have uh, to wait. I th no, 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 I, w I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that, no. I w I Why am I wouldn't even fucking know, sorry. What, what, I'm not, I'm not your girlfriend already? Oh. And that's how it went. <laughs> oh man, this is cute. I like, I like these two. You got one awkward antisocial guy, then you got one, um, slightly bubbly, but, uh, no. I, I guess, like, I, I don't know how to describe Grace, I'm too lazy right now to think about it, but I like her. A few weeks later, she told me what had happened to her back when she lived with her family. I had known for a while that something had happened, something she hadn't shared with anyone before, but when she told me what it was, a few thing of the things she said, no, I shouldn't write it down here. It feels wrong. It's not mine to, to tell. What if someone find, found this journal? Yeah, if Anna found that shit, dude, she'd use the shit of the, uh, against her. She would use that shit against her. That, that's dangerous, you're right. I never imagined she was living with such a burden. When I found out, I felt crushed. That's... I know. God, I feel like an idiot. And after I told you, I'd had it rough. No, it's fine. Don't feel bad about it, please. You got your troubles and I've got mine. I know, but... Can't we do something? Yeah, the first reaction of a guy is like, "How do I fix this, man? How do I fix this problem?" There's nothing to. Do. There's nothing to do. It's all over now. All I can do is keep looking forward. Oh fuck! <gasps> you know. I hugged her and told her how brave she was for telling me. I told her I'd protect her, keep her safe forever, and I meant it. <clears throat> I failed her, but that comes later. For now, I figured I should tell her what my own troubles had been. <clears throat> That's a, that's a good looking apartment though, I'm not gonna lie. Well, maybe it's the furniture, honestly. Um, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. It's okay. I don't- I- I do want to. I'd managed to keep quiet about my past, I had only alluded to things. Now I told her everything. It wasn't a long story. <laughs> what? Nothing? You don't remember anything? Oh, so he actually has amnesia? Is that- is that the problem he has? Actually, it's not exactly nothing, but my teen years are fuzzy and everything before that, it's like, it doesn't exist. What about your family? I don't know, maybe I had one. I was in a lot of institutions before I turned 18. <laughs> oh, Jack. I'll tell you about those times if you want, but there's not, not a lot to tell. Nothing really ever happened to me. I wish I could tell you everything about my life, I really do, but I, I can't. That's fine. Did you ever try to find out? But my life before then? Yeah. Oh, there goes the heartbeats. I didn't. Why not? I don't know. It just felt like it, I guess. I must have known even back then that some memories are best left buried. I'm sure I would like to remember if I couldn't. But you're fine with it? Yeah. Well, okay. Tell me about the times you can't remember then. <laughs> So when- oh fuck, sorry. So I wanted to, uh, to tell her all about the few bland memories I had. Oh man, this is getting interesting. I wonder what his past was like. Oh, and I wonder what happened to Grace. Like, what 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 is it that... That was just awful. I can't, like, I, I have theories, but I don't want to say anything yet. Yeah, I, 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 I just have no clue. I, c I could write about all the talks we had about the first night we spent together at Bowd, looking for an apartment, and then finding it about moving in. <laughs> about pretty much anything that would that only involved the two of us, but it, I think it's time to move on. 
This isn't a uh, feel-good journal, after all. And now we talk about the Yandere Wafu, right? It was a Thursday coming up to the year since Grace and I started dating. I saw, oh, fuck! I was at the cash register. Grace's wasn't in the store. An old lady was counting her change slowly and with trembling hands when Anna walked in. I, I can see that Anna is pretty well known in the community. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Anna didn't buy anything. She went for the register towards me, empty-handed. <laughs> oh, I can see what's going on. She doesn't want anything from the store, but... but no, no, she wants something from the store, and that's me, Jack. Handsome Jack, that is. The sight of her approaching me made my heart start beating like mad. My head hurt. I... That is... But that piano music is doing a good job, a good job at continuing to make me uneasy this whole game. You know that you know the time with Grace, you know, was actually pretty nice. And then you get the idea. <laughs> it's, it sounds a little better now. All right, I knew the the moment I saw her that she meant trouble, and make it double. Jack, my God, is that you, Jack? She had the nerve to pretend she stumbled upon me by accident, like she hadn't tracked me down. But I didn't have it together. I couldn't see through her acting. I was confused, panicking, not sure why. Excuse me, miss? Is it you? Please don't cut in line, miss. It's not fair to the other customers. The old lady was still tackling her massive coins. She didn't seem to notice much around her. Don't play silly with me, Jack. It, it's you, isn't it? Yes, my name is Jack, but you got me confused with someone else. There's a lot of Jacks out there. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You're all right. I put a hand on the counter to study myself. She reached out as if to place her hand on mine. I jerked, I jerked my hand back like she was going to bite me. It's me. It's Anna. Don't, don't you remember your old friend? No, we've never met. Wait a sec! Wait a sec! He has amnesia! So he knows this woman! But... Oh, this has gotten interesting! This has gotten fucking interesting! Holy shit! No, we never met. I guess it's been a while, 15 years? Not, not, not me, it must be someone else. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> this, this, this woman isn't random, he knows this woman. He fucking knows this woman, damn. Anna stared right at me, through me. I, I thought I'd boil or freeze. Sure, it's you. Let's go somewhere and talk about old times. I know a great restaurant just two streets over. Who the fuck is she though? Is, 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 that, is that like her old, like her old like childhood friend or something? Like his were they childhood friends? Look, lady. Even if I, I was his friend of yours, I have a job to do. So let me get on with it. You're bothering the customers. The customers weren't bothered one bit. If they hit. Hated anyone, it was probably me. After all, I was being so rude to this pretty charming girl who only wanted to talk to her friend. That's a good point, Jack. What are you going to do in this place? It's a pile of trash. Someone like you doesn't belong here. I was trying to reason with her. I crossed my arms and said nothing, hoping she wouldn't notice that my heart was pounding way too fast. Anna gave me a good look, a good hard look. So that's how it is. I'll see you later, Jack. And she went away. Okay, let me, let me, let me, give me, give me a second to just comprehend, uh, comprehend that for a second. So, my man's got, a, my man's Jack's got amnesia. She falls in love with, he falls in love with Grace for about a year. Uh, dates her for about a year. And then this random woman who says he, he knew her, him from the past. He says, oh, don't you remember me, Anna? Uh, and since he has amnesia, it's most likely that he's known Anna for a very long time. But who the fuck is Anna? I mean, my guess is Anna like did, uh, was like the one to um, probably uh, create his amnesia? Is that, is that what happened? Yeah, probably. Probably, yeah. I, th I think he, she has something to do with it. Maybe he has, like, dissociative amnesia, or maybe he just, like, an accident or something? I don't know. I let out a long breath I hadn't noticed I was holding. 
I felt aw awful. Even worse, I felt Anna had been right. There had definitely been something familiar about her. Aha! But I didn't want to find out more. Next time she comes in, I'll treat her the same way I told myself. Guessing correctly, there'd be the next time. Guessing wrongly, that'd be at the store. I'll do it again and again until she gives up. Excuse me, sir. I don't know what what she wants, but I don't give an inch. I won't give an inch. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be given uh, more than an inch soon, buddy. That was a horrible joke, sir. <laughs> the old lady cried out. She found a quarter. I want to see the old lady sprite. <laughs> August 11th. It's weird, isn't it? How I just r how I just write today's date like that and then go right to telling about something that happened months ago. I should write down when that stuff happened. But it was a l so long ago, I don't think I can remember the exact dates. Ah, who cares? This is only for me anyway. It, it can be a jumbled mess. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I w should write more about what's happening now. Yeah. Focus on the present. But nothing is happening. So fuck it. Language, buddy. When I told Grace about the girl who called herself Anna, who called me Jack even though we didn't wear name tags, she took it like it was good news. <laughs> That's amazing, Jack! She must have recognized you from childhood, so she said 15 years, didn't she? That That's right from when you can't remember. Yeah, I wonder why. Maybe because she did something. I I don't know. She might have some sort be some sort of scam artist. I I had just come up with that idea of Anna being a scam artist. I seem good enough for you to not go near her again. Yeah, right. Come on, come on, Jack. At least give her the benefit of the doubt. I don't need her, Grace. I've got you, Jack. I'm not telling you to sleep with her. I like, I like her sense of humor. <laughs> don't, don't be rude to her next time, okay? I wasn't being rude. You so were. Yeah, she would know. <laughs> They've been dating for a long time, she would know. Okay, so what if I was? It's not fair to her. She seems like a nice girl. Oh, yeah, totally. And you don't think it'd be good for you, too? To be friends with her? No, not really. She could tell you about your past, then maybe some things would start making sense. She could put whatever happened behind you. But nothing happened. Something must have happened, Jack. People don't... Grace all silent. Instead of continuing, she just started running her fork through her peas on her plate. What kind of shitty food are you eating? Who the fuck... Well, I won't judge. 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 We were having dinner. Who the fuck is sending me a Discord message? I thought I had this on Do Not Disturb. Well, I had it on offline! <laughs> Alright, I put that on Do Not Disturb so you don't have to hear that. Alright. People don't what? That's a wrong voice. Well, people don't do that at night unless something happened to them. I keep telling you it must be some kind of weird kind of insomnia. Nothing more. <clears throat> Sleeping pills don't work on it. Something will eventually. But why tr not try this? The memories you have, it's like... They want out. I think they should get out too. Then you won't be scared of whatever happened anymore. <coughs> and how does that work exactly? You'll be able to face it properly. It helped me a lot, you know? Thinking about what happened to me, seeing it's not so bad as I thought it was. I stubbornly refused to answer and went on, eating like there hadn't been a conversation at all. I'll, reply, I'll respond to that Discord message after this, promise you. What Grace had referred to was some... You know what? I'm actually curious. Let me, let, let me, let me look at what this Discord message is. I'm actually fucking... Oh, it's just a meme. Alright, that is an interesting Discord message. Okay, that is not a meme that... <laughs> you, you know... It will remain a mystery. Alright, apparently I <laughs> Sorry. Apparently I shouted and kicked at night a lot. Sometimes I, I all out screamed. Maybe I s still do all that? Who knows? Maybe the staff and patients are too polite to point it out. No, I don't scream at night anymore. I'm fairly sure I don't. Though that's not easy to say I can sleep all that well. Funny how at one point something like that was the biggest problem in my life. It was so long ago. Brother, how, how long ago? Like, is it like 5, 10 years? Like, are you 30 years old now? Well, if you're 21, yeah. You'll, 
probably like 30, I don't know. Or at least it feels like a long, so long ago. So much has happened since then. Anyway, the morning after I would wake up sweaty and tired, but it wasn't until Grace told me about the screaming that I found out why. Grace said it happened about once a week. It really freaked her out the first few times it happened, but then she got used to it. Or as used as, used as you can get. It makes me feel like an asshole realizing how nonchalant I was about it. Screaming every few nights in my sleep was I felt was I felt a small price of pay, so I wouldn't have to bother with the past. But I didn't. It didn't matter in the end if I decided to face the past or not. Either way, it was coming. The second time Anna and I met as adults, we were neighbors. Hello, neighbor. I was coming back home from morning shift at the store. What con? What country does this take place in? I went into our building up to the second floor down the hall to mine and Grace's door and I froze. There was someone standing in the front of our door. Ah, yes. Yes, the completely innocent and wholesome woman. Wearing the same outfit for the past couple of years, it seems. That, that's the one was her. Anna? Jack? Oh, goodness, what are you doing here? Don't tell me you... She pointed at the door as if to ask if I lived there. Yes, that's my apartment. As you damn well know. The hallway air felt warm and stale like soups like What are you doing here? I was going to say hello to my... New neighbor. <laughs> so, hello. Wait, what? Huh? And here... She put something into my hands. It was a plate wrapped in plastic wrap. There was something brown on the plate. Brownies? I'm sure you'll like them, Jack. Let me guess, you put your blood- you, Let me say, you took a knife. You cut your wrists and put them into the brownies, didn't you? Like the most yonder thing you could do. Or you probably like... You probably put something in it, right? You, you should definitely put something in it. But we're not neighbors. I spat the words out. Yes, we are. I'm right over there. Anna showed me the door to the right of mine. Ah. That place had been empty for weeks. I'm pretty sure the guy who lived there before was a heroin addict. What a great apartment. I'm pretty sure the guy... Oh, he didn't seem so bad now. What an amazing coincidence, huh? Oh yeah, coincidence! I think we'd end up living so close by again. It's not a coincidence, is it? Pardon? Come on, really? What are you trying to do? It's obvious you planned this. My man my man finally has a brain. There's no way something like this could happen by accident. And it laughed. It was a sound like a fork scraping a plate. Well? Like a fork. Her laugh was a fork. I'm trying to ma like contemplate what that sounds like. <laughs> you can believe it's a coincidence or you can believe it's not. Either way, we'll be seeing each other pretty often. Enjoy the brownies! Thanks! I'm not a big fan of sweet stuff, but I'm sure Grace will love them. Dumbass, don't feed them to your girlfriend! Grace? Who is Grace? My girlfriend. And that is a. Did I just see her eyes, like, open wide, like, mid sentence? <laughs> I pointed at the door with my th This man has a re- what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You, you, my man, you are, you are, you, you are getting your girl killed here. We live together. Oh my lord, he, he, he is in trouble, man. My, my idea was that in case she was acting like this because she was interested in me, I gently tell her off, tell her I was taken. My man, he's, she's into you, but not in the same way as most women would be. She's a little bit extra into you. <laughs> Grace? Yes. She must be a nice girl. The best I've ever known. She's lucky to have you. It's the other way around. Well, it's been nice chatting. I'll say hi to Grace for you. <laughs> I can see, I, I can feel the anger in, in the fucking words. I should go in and say hello myself. No need. And she's not here right now. But, bye! I pretended to unlock the door. It was already unlocked because Grace was home. I slipped in and shut the door in Anna's face. Was well, Anna okay? 
Annie, are you okay? <laughs> In the apartment, I found I could breathe freely again. Son of a bitch! Talk to this girl, be friends with her? Not a chance. She keep the hell out of me. Running all this down, I can see why Grace thought I was overreacting. The plain facts of it don't seem that bad at all. A friend I hadn't seen in years noticed me at my workplace, talked with me a bit, and then happened to move right next to me. I mean, I think that is kind of creepy, honestly. Like, you don't just go up to someone and say, Oh, you remember me. I mean, like, she probably knows that he has amnesia. So, I mean, that is kind of creepy. I think his, uh, his like, creepiness is a bit justified. Like, his cre being creeped out is justified. But I knew right from the start that there was something off about her. That that's not something to ignore. Paranoid, yeah? But in this case, I was able to be paranoid. It's because I left my guard down. All that shit happened. What, what, what was that shit that happened? So no word from the doctor about when I'll be able to get out of here. In fact, I haven't seen him in days. I hope he just... He's just busy. What if something happened to him? It's like the paranoia talking again. No, that's not paranoia. That's, that's plain stupid. And I can't make a doctor disappear and get away with it. But I've got to say, if, it, if this doctor did disappear, it would, wouldn't be much of a loss to the hospital, I think. <laughs> Damn, American healthcare again at, at its finest. I'll have to ask him to give me some next exercises I can do. My neck hurts from craning my head to the side all the time to look at the sky. Well, at least the weather's bad now. I'm not looking there as much. It's weird how a little neck pain is causing me trouble with how broken and battered the rest of me is. No, I probably shouldn't mention my neck to him. They might up my dosage, and what I'll do then, will my brain turn to mush? Maybe I'll... maybe then I'll be ha I'd be happy? In any case, I have things to do, and I need a clear mind to do them. I hope that what I'm writing makes sense. Yeah, I think it does. I hope I haven't gone down the rabbit hole already, and all I'm doing is scrawling line after line of meaningless chicken scratch. But that'd be pretty funny, I guess. It's pretty unfunny in a pretty unfunny way. August twelfth. Anna's brownies were tasty. <laughs> I didn't have any, but Grace Grace said so. Yeah, maybe I should put blood blood in my brownies instead of uh, eggs. Maybe that's the secret ingredient. I <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Don't worry. I <laughs> wanted to throw the brownies into the trash, but Grace caught wind of them too quickly. She's like a bloodhound when it comes to sweet stuff, chocolate especially. And then, of course, I had to explain where I got them. Huh? Weird. I know, right? There's no way it's a coincidence. Yeah, it must be a sign. You know, I'm very surprised. You know, what surprises me about Grace is she doesn't get jealous easily. Like, she's actually, like, really chill about this stuff. Like, she's a very chill... I like chill people. I'm a big fan of chill people. You know, but... This is the one time I think being chill can get you fucked, because her her chillness seemed to have gotten this man in the hospital, and, um... Well, I guess we'll find out. I don't know what, I don't know what happens. You know, it is weird that she was stalking me since she knew where I lived, but that she didn't know about Grace. I mean, she couldn't have known with how surprised she was. I didn't think she was acting. Well, wasn't it just a coincidence then? No, absolutely not. That I refuse to accept. I think I'll go say hi. I can make something for her too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's fucked. Do we have any butter left? I want to bake her cookies. Well, you could always use blood, blood like uh, like her. Yeah, and then you'll eat most of your own. Hey, I don't see the point of going to visit her though. We'll see more <laughs> more than enough of her anyway. We live so close by. We're, we're neighbors. I want us to get started on the right foot. And maybe she and I could be friends. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I, th I think that'd be nice. I wrap my arms around her. Of course you deserve that. But please, find a friend that's not her. Why? Once again, I couldn't probably explain why. I could put it down as something more than a hunch. A cut feeling I'd get whenever I was near her. I've at least got to see her for myself to see she's really such a horrible person. Trust me, you're better off without her. <laughs> the next day in the afternoon, I was lying down on our sofa. I was nursing a headache that had been with me since morning. Grace told me she'd be right back. 
She went out of the apartment with something in her hands, and then a smell of freshly baked cookies wafted out of the kitchen. It still took me about two minutes to piece the puzzle together. Ah, oh, shit, I whispered. I was immediately up. Not good, not good! Panic struck me harder than I could expect. It was like gracing Anna all by herself. Some vulnerable part of me was exposed. I wanted to bring Grace back and lock the door and keep her safe and never ever let her out of my sight. Is he, sl is he remembering what he did? But I also didn't want to go in there. I just stood there, heads, head in my hand, wondering what the hell to do. All at once I was telling myself to go there, you coward, but also to stay here, you idiot. And somewhere far away, a tiny voice, very tiny, very little, was telling me I was overreacting. <laughs> then came the sound of glass breaking. It came from where else? Anna's apartment. I went to the, to the wall sep that separated our apartments. Now, there was no sound at all. Nothing to explain the crash. I, w I finally overcame my cowardice. I dashed out from the apartment to hers. Oh, those, that's a, those are some nice looking apartments, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I got there, I saw broken glass, blood, and Grace kneeling down, and Anna stood above her, and... They were- and they were both smiling. Ah, yes. WHOLESOME! Completely wholesome! They stopped when they noticed me there, out of breath and confused. Jack? Hi, Jack. Did you decide to join us? No, I- What the hell is going on? This. Anna waved her hand at the floor, at all the bits of glass, white, ceramic. Actually. They were all scattered cookies and drops of blood. Yeah, yes that! Just looking at the blood made me feel sick, like I was gonna throw up, but I couldn't peel my eyes away from it. I've always been like that around blood, I never had that stomach for it. Grace was picking up the bro broken piece of ceramic. There was a little accident. An accident? Ah, uh, yes, what else? Grace, what happened? It's, it's my fault, really. The cookies were hotter than I thought, so I dropped the whole plate. And it was Anna's plate, too. Be careful, Grace. You might cut yourself. She... She... She cut herself already? Look! Huh? She, she only now seemed to notice the blood around her. But I... Grace checked her hands, turned them around a few times to see from every angle, but found no cuts there. I, I, it's not mine. It's my blood. I told you she used the brownies. I told you she put blood in them brownies. Man, I'm big. It's what? Oh, oh, she cut her. Okay, I'm overthinking it. Sorry, she she cut her hand. Anna was. I just noticed holding her left hand tightly with her right. There was a little blood <laughs> trickling from between her knuckles. Oh no. Grace's hand hovered over to Anna's. She looked willing to help, but afraid she'd do something wrong. How, how how did this even happen? I try to think of some of the pieces. They're pretty sharp, aren't they? Yeah, she's crazy. Hang on, Anna. I'll... Wait, hang on, Anna. I'll... Excuse me. I'm fine. I don't need you to do anything. The way Anna said that was forceful. Almost harsh. Grace backed away. I, I, I can still help. She remembered I was there. Uh, Jack, uh, go, go, go get some gauze. We have gauze? The fuck is gauze? Oh, useless! The fuck is gauze? She left me there in the belly of a, the beast. I tried being polite. Shame about the cookies. A real shame I didn't get to eat a single one. Well, actually... She picked one up with the free fingers of her left hand. Some of her blood caught in the cookie. Before I could say anything, she ate it in one bite. Jesus! It's not bad at all. They're so warm. Do you want one? I'll pass. God, you make me sick. That's not a very nice thing to say, Jack. If anyone else said it. But I'll forgive you. She licks her lips. Ugh. I should have left, but I was like a frog being stared down by a snake. I don't know what, what's taking Grace so long. She must be flustered. Poor girl. So much to worry about a teeny little cut. It's all serious. It's not. How do you know? 
I've seen a lot of cuts. Oh, I bet you did. I can imagine. And a, and a left. I'm a nurse. That I couldn't imagine. It's still hard to believe, though. I, I see proof of it every day. There's a lot of blood. You don't believe me? Look. She showed me her hand. The cut ran from the base of her thumb towards the middle of her hand. The wound was thin but long and ragged. The skin around the wound was pale and moist, showing how fresh the cut was. I could have puked. Oh, does it look bad? Don't worry, it won't, it, it won't even scar. Stop that! You're really a... I don't remember what was going to s oh, what I was going to say. It wasn't nice in any case. What stopped me was Grace coming back. Sorry, sorry. There wasn't any gauze. <laughs> Here. She brought a roll of pink toilet paper. I hope this is good enough. Thank you, Grace, but I don't need it. Well, don't you need some cold water? <laughs> you don't? No, see. The blood stopped. Anna flashed me a smell. The corners of her mouth were still red. I think I should save. I forgot to do that. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Inter yeah, this is an interesting game. I mean, I, the, the story, I really do like the story, honestly. The story is actually really interesting. D doing a really good job of keeping me curious. Like, whoever wrote this fa like, not, not fan fiction, sorry. This, um, visual novel did a really good job with the visuals, the background, the characters, and the, um, the writing. Because I'm, I'm, I'm interested as fuck. Good day today. Didn't see Anna once. But enough of that. After what happened where I left off yesterday, I was sure Grace and I were on the same page. But no. In the end, I was the one who cleaned up the bloody mess on the floor. I threw away the cookies before Anna could get her hands on any more. Damn. Back in her apartment, Grace let out a long sigh. What a, what a mess, am I right? Yeah, I, and it was my fault. I meant Anna. You didn't meet her, right? Yes. And? Well, I can see why you've been avoiding her. If that's what you mean. Thank you. She is... She's beautiful. Uh, that's what we call being oblivious. I thought she would be some shy little girl or a crazy cat leader or something. But she's like a model. What? No! Don't try to deny it, Jack. It's why you don't want to go near her, isn't it? You don't want to be tempted. I shook my head. I really didn't see her that way. Now with a little more perspective, I can say it's true. What a waste of good looks. She's so much more beautiful than me. Hey, don't say that. She's not. She is. Well, even though she might be beautiful on the outside, her personality does not compare to Grace. Grace dropped her ga uh, gaze to stare at her hands. And she wasn't she wasn't mad that I ruined her plate. Uh, yeah, that's what we... <laughs> that's what we <laughs> yeah, all right. She's more, she's more... I think she's more mad at other things besides the plate. She wasn't scared out of the blood either. She's just so... Uh... I, I took her hands in mine. They were cold. Grace. Jack? You're beautiful and kind. More beautiful and kind than any other girl in the world. I'm lucky as hell to have you. My cheeks burned. I must have looked like a tomato. Oh yes, tomato. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to say tomato. I wasn't used to say saying something like this. I mean it. So don't say stuff like that. Uh, okay. Uh. Grace blinked like she just woken up. Oh, oh. Um, I've been saying a lot of dumb stuff. I guess. I'm sorry. So curious, what happened to her? I'm, I'm a real hassle, huh? Oh man, low self-esteem! No, I d don't say that. And don't say you're sorry either. You've done nothing to feel sorry for. I, I, you've done nothing to feel sorry for. She apologized way too often. August 15th. I didn't write anything yesterday. The pain in my leg made it so I couldn't focus. It's been hurting like a bitch these fat past few days. I gave it in and asked a doctor about it. Why can't I see his face? Like, is there, I, like, okay, uh, it's weird. He's fine, by the way. Didn't disappear or anything. Must have taken a few days. Did he come back with the milk? I asked him about the pain. I asked if he could do anything about it. 
Apparently the pain is a good sign. I think that's what he said. So I guess my leg is healing alright. But it still hurts. When the doctor went away, I complained out loud that it hurts. One of the other patients must have thought I was talking to him. The patients here are now the same are not the same guys I mentioned before. One is, but that's all. Oh well. So he's been staying here longer than most patients, okay. I, you know, what if what if Anna's trying to keep him sick? Maybe that's why he's always here, I don't know. The others went away. To another part of the hospital or home, or maybe to the morgue? I don't know, I wasn't keeping track. So I said something about how my leg hurt, and a guy on the bed next to mine, a kid actually can be more than 18 or 19, so just talking to me. I think he was saying he was in a lot of pain too. I couldn't understand most of it though. His jaw has been wired shut. I think he tries to say turns to moans and a lot of jewels. The nurse came in, not Anna, and told him he shouldn't speak if he wants his mouth to get better. So he shut up. That's kinda creepy. I don't know, I don't know what that means. Uh, did he like... You know what? 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 There's a lot of questions that need to be asked in this game. I should not, I need to worry about a lot, a lot more. But that is still a bit of uh, cause for concern. Because that, that, that sounds painful. That sounds very painful. Alright, not much else has happened, but my leg is bothering me. It's in, it's a deep pain. It doesn't feel like it's healing. It feels wrong in a way. That makes my teeth hurt, too. I'll stop with the leg now. I have to get my mind off it. It hurts so much. I'll check where I left off the day before er, yesterday and go from there. You're not coming with us? Again? No, I don't like it. But Anna's great to hang out with. Yesterday we went window shopping, then we went to a cafe, and then we had ice cream in the park. Sounds fun. It was. Anna's a really interesting person. You should give her a chance. I want to. I want us all to be friends. So please come along. No, I'll pass. Sorry. A moment later, Anna came out in without knocking. Damn. She never knocked an anymore. Ready, Grace? Yes, in a minute. Grace heaved a sigh. Are you sure you don't want to go? Yeah, I'm sh yes, I'm sure. Go have fun without me. Okay, then some other time. We kissed. <laughs> ah, yes, Anna. Anna's having a hell looking pretty low. Is enjoying the fuck out of that, I can tell. Have fun. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> have fun. We will. We will. Bye. <laughs> I just like looking at... Like, Anna's like... Uh, just... I cannot, I cannot find the words. Um, you know what? F forget it. Oh. Fuck. Grace and Anna became friends. Good friends. Very soon after they first met. I was against it, but I found it hard to complain seeing Grace so happy. They spent quite a lot of time together. Whenever I said anything about this, Grace would tease me. She'd say I was jealous. But she would also invite me to come with, uh, uh, me to come with. I was declined. I mean, you should go at one point just to see what they're doing. <laughs> but hey, I eventually got used to it, and things were quiet for a while. Oh yeah, he still works here, I think, right? Once on the store, I was applying discounts during work hours. It should have been done before we opened up, but someone had been slacking off. I won't point fingers. It was Don, the old guy. So I was the one stuck wondering what kind of dog food the 20% off should go on or something like that. The lists they gave us were always terrible, so full of corrections you could barely read them. Oh wow, I like her boots. As I was about to choose a random where to apply this discount sticker, someone put a hand on my shoulder. Oh, Anna. There's a tightness on my chest, but it passed within a second. As I said, I gotten used to it. Yeah, it was probably from the, uh, what you experienced with her. It's still coming to haunt you, but you just don't know you just don't know it yet. She didn't scare me anymore. Hi. How are you, Jack? I'm alright, thanks. Hey, random question. Do you like big dogs or small dogs? Hmm? 
Make dogs say, I guess. I see. I bend down and place a stick over reducing the price of the dog food that had one of those wiener dogs on the back. <laughs> wow, okay. Grace is in the break room, by the way. I know, I, I was just there. But I want... Wait, wait, no, wait, hold on a sec. Non-employees are not allowed in most break rooms, though. That's, uh... Okay, I'm just gonna continue, but... <laughs> but I wanted to see you. Yeah? Why? I haven't seen you all for the past week, you know? Didn't you notice? I guess. I was called in- I was called in to work a lot. You must have been busy here, too. Yep, busy, busy. We should meet more often. After all these years apart, we must have a lot of stories to tell, huh? Yeah, maybe. Jack, you mentioned dogs, right? Right. Was that because of Buddy? Who's Buddy? Hmm. So you really don't remember anything? Yeah! Yeah, he doesn't. Nope. I don't remember this Buddy, and I don't remember knowing you either. Huh. Buddy. So Buddy was probably like a big, big, big dog then or something, I guess. Maybe he's a wiener dog. Maybe he's a wiener dog, because, you know... Yeah, reference. Foreshadowing. Of course now I know about Buddy. I do know about Buddy. I don't remember his breed or how old he was or anything other than his name, really. But I do know of him. A certain picture told me. That's really too bad. <laughs> we'll come back to you, I'm sure. Who knows? Buddy was a really sweet dog. You'd like him a lot. I shrugged. And he loved you, but then again, that dog loved everyone. He was so trusting. Too trusting? I'm sure. I'm sure he was. Are you really fine with not knowing about so much of your life, Jack? Yeah, I'm used to it by now. I think it would feel weird if I could remember, actually. I suppose it's easier in a way. There's some things best forgotten after all, aren't there? Ha! <laughs> huh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Of course there was. And I wish some of those things would have the decencies to stay forgotten. Why mention it now, though? Oh, no reason. I was just a little curious. Uh-huh. I didn't believe her. I sensed that there was something in particular she wanted me to remember. I don't know what it is now. Maybe it's a trauma she gave you. Maybe it's a trauma you don't remember. But I don't know why she wants me to remember what she did. Maybe it's something wholesome, you never know. Is this some sick form of love, or does she want to finish the job? Is it both? I don't know, I really don't. Her mind is as much of a mystery to me as... Me now as it was, ever was. The more answers you get, the more of a mystery that it becomes. Ha-ha! <laughs> Interlude, Anna in Wonderland. Dear Diary, I found him. It was beautiful. It was like fate. It was fate. As oh, this is Anna. Oh, this is Anna's. As soon as I came to the city, I, I caught his scent in the air. A little, but mostly as well the homeless people in gasoline. You sure it's not New York or Portland? <laughs> Why did you want to do that? <laughs> Sorry. Why did you go all the way out there, Jack? You love nature, the smell of pines where we grew up. I was ready to spend weeks looking for you, Jack. Or months, years if I had to. I even got a job at the hospital here. They're understaffed, so it was easy. But there you were in the first store I went to. I didn't even go in to look for you. Fate, fate, fate. But you were a little strange. Surely you recognize me. I hadn't changed that much, have I? I mean, it's been a while, and... I tried to make myself pretty for you in every way I can think of, but you know it was me, right? Girl, it's been 15 years. You were probably like 7 years old, now you were like 22. I think you changed a lot. I knew it was. I hadn't forgotten me. You were pretending, playing a game? Yes, that must be it. Well, I'd love to wait and see what you're doing, dear, but I've been a patient girl for far too long. <laughs> Oh damn! I'm actually starting to fall. I'm actually kind of starting to fall for Anna, but 
Dear Diary, Friday. Jack Friday. I knew he changed his name to that, but it's just so funny, isn't it? We have to change it back. Jack for what we're for when we're married. I want the real one to follow my first name. Jack Friday. It made me giggle when I saw it in your employee records, darling. It, it, I just had a peek and nothing more. Just to see where you live. I wanted to follow you home at first, but then I thought, hey, wouldn't it be insanely romantic if the next time I saw you we lived right next to each other? I know you're playing your little game of you don't know me anymore, but that's just not too much, is it? Being neighbors? You won't be angry, right? Even if it make even if it makes you angry? I have at least to do this, right? I can't wait anymore. I'm tired of being myself. I waited this long already. I've prepared for you so much. Maybe you won't be mad. Please don't be mad. Please. One other thing, darling. P.S. That street where you live isn't in terrible... P isn't it in a terrible part of town? Run down and cheap and even dangerous? I haven't even been here for so long, but I think that's right. It's part of your game, too. And working in a store, that must be it as well. Someone like you should never work there. I said you should be a... Gosh, I can't even imagine that. And isn't that per- My fucking throat, dude! But isn't that perfect? I don't want you working anymore. I want you all for me. Damn, I can be a house husband even too with this girl. Dear diary, the street is worse than I thought. God, the smell. Do you really know what you're doing, Jack? No, no, I should doubt. I shouldn't doubt you, I know. The rent is cheap, at least very cheap. But more important than any uh, anything else, th th there was a vacancy right next to the door to your apartment. I mean, the apartments look nice. <laughs> to me, at least. I can't wait to move in. Oh, be neighbors. I'll see so much of you. It will make me drunk. Ugh. Dear diary, what a beautiful thumb. I said this to the landlord when I brought my things here. He thought I was complaining. He said, I should check I should check out the apartment before I rented it. He is an idiot. There could be a swarm of rats or roaches living in the apartment. Or crack addicts, for that matter. I wouldn't give a darn. She doesn't swear. <laughs> no dams or fucks, just darns. What a wholesome girl, honestly. <laughs> but, <laughs> but still, I can't keep it dirty forever. I have to practice my homemaking skills. Oh, I already have difficulty speaking. Oh, why? Oh. Tend to make this dump a house. Speaking of complaining, I'm complaining too much. <laughs> Dear diary, just back from my quick jog, gotta stay in shape, and the brownies are just about done. I know, I know, I should have kept an eye on them. I've been doing this for s long enough, you know? The brownies are perfect. Not burnt, not raw, just right, just like my soul. I hope he likes them. Man, I'm, I'm hungry now, <laughs> after hearing that shit. Jack, I don't know if I can go on. Who is this girl? I'm the one for you. The only one for you. And yet you. I know this is part of your plan, but you didn't have to do it this way. Why are you so cruel? I have to work now. I don't care. I'll go to sleep. Oh. Boo! Got it! Okay. Dear diary, I cried all the bad feelings out. Things don't seem nearly as bad now. Jack is testing me, so I have to show him I, I have what it takes. This is nothing at all. I can, I, I can do this. God, not even Jack's diaries are this long. Jesus Christ, Hella. Dear diary, I met her today. Grace. I hope she doesn't get in the way. She's such a sweet girl. But she's clumsy. She dropped a plate. My plate, too, of cookies. And they were cookies and broken pieces of porcelain everywhere. 
I'm pretty clumsy too, I guess. I cut myself on a shaft when I was trying to figure it out. Oh, yes, the clumsy nurse trope. Oh, yes, I'm a nurse and I'm clumsy. The oh, what such a stereotypical trope. Oh, my lord. I could even be Mikan Sumiki from Duncan Roper. Oh, yeah, oh, man. Jack came in just as I got cut. He must have sensed I was hurt. There was a lot of blood for a wound so small. The blood reminded me of a time it always does. I showed it to Jack. He looked like he was going to vomit. He got great intuition. Great acting, Jack. I love you. Or has this man experienced blood before? I'm confused. Dear diary. I've gotten better at playing along with Jack's little game. I've seen him a lot more now, everywhere I go. Nearly half of those Sams are not even trying to make our paths cross. Fate! I'm always seeing Grace a lot, lot more. She's always asking me to go somewhere with her, or to chat. She's always come over to my apartment without Jack. This even be she's become a real brother, honestly. Oh, re <laughs> brother! Fuck! She's become a real bother, honestly, because I act, but I act nice. The girl tells me things about Jack, after all. Though, of course, she doesn't know anything about him that I do. <sighs> That's because she doesn't really know Jack. But now, I know what she's pretending to like. He told Grace that he had a new job. It's a little unoriginal, Jack, don't you think? Oh. After this, I'm gonna go get something to eat real quick. I'll probably cut the part where I make food or something, but I'll be back. Don't you think? That's okay, though. She believes you. That dumb little... Don't say bitch or slut, or I'm Anna. She, she's a nice... She's a nice girl. She's a good... She's a good person. Dear Diary, I'm troubled. I'm starting to think that Jack is not pretending. What if he really has forgotten all about me? No, I can't have that. I need a sign, Jack. Just one little sign. So that I know you remember. <sighs> one sign, anything is fine. Oh. <laughs> God, this is more of a workout than uh, than the oh. Dear diary, Jack doesn't remember me. I'm pretty sure of it now. He doesn't remember anything. Darn. But that's a good thing. <sighs> he hasn't been acting cold on purpose. I'll give his memory a little jong and that'll be that. Good as new. But this also means that he's serious about that Grace girl. We can't have that. No, no. I'm starting to see her true colors. She's a filthy seductress, all the, right? That's one way of calling her a whore. But she's not a whore, Anna. She's a nice person. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Don't call her seductress. Don't, don't Anna. She's, she's a nice person. <laughs> Sorry, my, my, my brain is not functioning right now. She's also an idiot. She invited me for dinner tomorrow at her apartment. Their apartment? Her and Jack's apartment? The apartment they're sharing together without me. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go save. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna take, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure, I might, um, do, do the next part tomorrow. I might do it today and post it today. I'm not sure, but I <laughs> I need to go get something to eat. I'll, I'll definitely finish the playthrough, though. Um, whether I post it tomorrow or today, I'll definitely finish the playthrough. But it was <laughs> nice. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Definitely do subscribe if you like the channel, you know. <laughs> Sorry for all the cringy memes and the shooty let's plays, but... I'll, uh, oh, fuck. Oh, God, sorry. But I'll see, I'll see you guys soon. Take care now, my fellow mad lads and mad ladasses.